<clears throat> have you ever had that situation where you've got a shop back line or something else that you're trying to connect and it just doesn't fit? It's either too big or too small. Hi, Charlie Rose here with Rosinity Woodworks. Today I'm going to show you how you can make that adjustment with a heat gun and some PVC. Real simple, real easy. Stay tuned. Check this out. So the tricky part about this is the connection here and the connection here because even with this hose, the vacuum hose that comes with the shop vacuum, it's just a very loose fit at the top. Same thing with the hard piped PVC here. I'll take this off and show you. It's just got a lot of slop to it. So what we want to do is find a way to make sure that we can get that really tight. It does have an insert here. And even without the insert, it's essentially the same diameter, a little bit different, obviously because this sleeve doesn't seem to work. So we're going to use this sleeve and see if we can mold this down to be able to the way we're going to be able to do that is I'm going to take this and I found another attachment that we have in the shop. It's a little bit big so this won't fit inside of it but what I hope to do is to be able to heat this up and push it down into this attachment decreasing the diameter of what we have here and by doing that I hope it slides right on top of this so we can get a better fit. So let's go ahead and give that a try. I'm going to wear these gloves because I really don't want to burn myself. So let's give this safety approach and go from here. You don't want to touch it and you want to keep the piece moving so that way we don't burn it as well. And I just occasionally reach up here with the gloves on and see if it's pliable. Now that it's got a little bit of ply to it, we're going to force it into, there we go, force it into this attachment. And really, I just want to be able to continue to, this is going to help cool it, also help it keep from sticking to it as well. And what I hope to be able to do is to have narrowed that diameter so that allows it to be able to fit snugly onto this sleeve here. So it doesn't take long for it to cool. You can see a little bit here how it tapers in that we have reduced that diameter. So let's see if it's enough. So yeah, so now it's a little bit big for it. So what we're gonna do is heat it again and then slide it over top of this. As you can see, let's just get another piece of pipe if you compare the diameters, you can see here how that has shrunk down. Now we need to fit it over. And it's very, very close. I don't know that you can see it, but it's very close from going on. So let's heat it up. And now we're going to expand it. it. Shouldn't take as long this time because it's still a little bit warm. So now we're going to slide it over it. There you can see it's a good snug fit. And I can always put a clamp on there and tighten that down a little bit or even try gluing it. You see this side how loose that is? That's the side we haven't done anything with. Now we've got this tapered to a good fit right there. So we'll be able to do that to the rest, tie it all in. Same thing on the top so that we get a good connection. 
and we should be good to go. So I've got the second piece of pipe coming out of the outlet side of the Cyclone heated to fit the sleeve. So I've just labeled it here so that I don't end up confusing myself or cutting off the wrong end, but I've got the inlet side of the Cyclone and the outlet side of the Cyclone, if you can see those there. Now the downside about the outlet Cyclone as it is, I should have done this beforehand, but I need to cut this to length um, to get it till I can fit it to mold onto this because right now, again, this is not a good fit. So I want this to be able to go over top of the vacuum hose. So we're going to take this off, cut this down to size, and then we're ready to go to heat it to make sure that it fits the vacuum line. That should do it there, so I'll rub that off and then we'll go ahead and heat this up and see that we can get it to fit on this vacuum line. So you can see here, we've shortened this length up. We're going to attach the OEM vacuum line to that. And obviously it's not a fit, so I'll show you a little bit more detailed or a closer up look. You can see here. It's just not a good fit. So I want to be able to heat this side up, slide it over top of the vacuum hose. So same process, it doesn't take too long. But let's go ahead and do that. So here you can see it's pretty pliable. Slide it up over that vacuum line there, and you can kind of see how it is flaring out, and that's what we want. And I'm just going to leave that there and let that cool, and this should be our setup above. So that's going to be a clean fit here, clean fit here. We haven't changed anything on that, so it's going to easily allow us to add the 45 onto the end, and then we'll be able to go straight down to the floor. Ooh, a little warm there. We're going to go straight down to the floor, and then we'll have it in the ceiling up above us, and we'll be ready to go. Uh, thank you very much.